Once upon a time, in Huzhou, Zhejiang province, there was a scholar named Zhang Xiangruo. One autumn day, as he was inspecting the fields on a hillside, he noticed that the crops were swaying vigorously in a dense area. Suspicious, he walked along a small path through the fields to investigate. To his surprise, he found a man and a woman engaged in intimate activities in the field. He smiled and was about to turn back, but the man quickly fastened his clothing and hurriedly left. The woman also stood up, and upon closer inspection, Song Xiang Ruo found her to be exceedingly beautiful. He felt a liking for her and wanted to get closer, but was embarrassed by the inappropriate situation. Approaching her, he helped brush the dust off her clothes and asked, are you enjoying your secret rendezvous? The woman only smiled and didn't speak. Zhang Xiangruo moved closer, and as he removed her clothing, he felt her tender and smooth skin. He touched her all over, exploring her body. The woman teased, You uptight scholar, if you want something, just do it. Why touch so passionately like this? Zhang Xiangruo asked for her name, and she replied, The spring breeze passes, leaving no trace behind. Why bother investigating me? Do you want me to leave my name as a testament to my virtue? He responded, Even if you have secret meetings in the wild, with your beauty, you should still maintain self-respect. There's no need for such base behavior. The woman agreed with his words. Zhang Xiangruo suggested, My study isn't far from here. If you're willing, please come and spend some time there. The woman replied, I've been away for a while, and people might suspect. I can come at night. She inquired about specific landmarks near his house, and then hurriedly left. True to her words, the woman arrived at Zhang Xiangruo's study one night. They became intimate, and their affection deepened over the course of many days, with nobody knowing about their relationship. Coincidentally, a monk from the western regions was staying at a local temple. When he met Zhang Xiangruo, he said in surprise, You carry an aura of negativity. Have you encountered something unusual? Zhang Xiangruo replied, Not that I know of. After a few days, he fell ill suddenly and unexpectedly. The woman would bring him fruits and treats every night, taking care of him and appearing like a loving wife. However, once they were in bed, she would insist on intimate activities, which Song Xiang Ruo, weakened by illness, found difficult to endure. He began to suspect that the woman might not be human, but he had no way to refuse her or make her leave. He thought about the monk's words and the monk's prescribed solution. Zhang Xiangruo said to the woman, The monk mentioned that I might be under some influence. Tomorrow, I'll ask him to come and provide a charm or recite a spell. The woman's face turned sorrowful upon hearing this, and Zhang Xiangruo's suspicions grew. The next day, he sent his family to tell the monk about the situation. The monk said, This is a fox spirit, not deeply rooted in the Tao. It's easy to capture. He wrote to talismans and instructed Zhang Xiang Ruo's family, prepare a clean container and place it by the bed. Affix one talisman to the mouth of the container. When the fox leaps in, quickly cover it with a basin. Then affix the other talisman to the basin. Place the container in a pot of boiling water over high heat. Soon, it will die. The family followed the monk's instructions. Late at night, the woman arrived as usual. As she leapt, Song Xiangruo's family covered the basin and affixed the talisman. They intended to boil her, but Song Xiangruo felt pity and ordered them to release her. When they removed the talisman and lifted the basin, the woman emerged from it, saying, I have been practicing the true path since the last incident. Why exchange love for others' hatred? She left after expressing gratitude. After some time, Song Xiangruo's health improved dramatically. He thanked the fox woman in his heart and wished to see her again. One night, he locked himself in and drank wine. He heard a tapping on the window and found the fox woman outside. He seized her hand, expressing his gratitude, and invited her in for a drink. The fox woman said, Our karmic connection from a past life has been repaid. I must bid you farewell. Zhang Xiangruo, teary-eyed, said, When you first came to my home, I was destitute. It was through you that I gained prosperity. How can you bear to leave now? Besides, you have no family. 
If our son doesn't know his mother's whereabouts in the future, it will be regrettable. The Fox woman, too, expressed sadness and said, gatherings are destined to end. It's a common occurrence. Our son is fortunate, and you will live a long life. What more do you need? My original surname is he. If you miss me, hold on to my old belongings and call Lotus Lady. You will see me. With that, she disappeared into the sky. Zhang Xiangruo rushed to grab her, but only managed to grasp a shoe. The shoe turned into a red stone that he kept. He found her old white silk shawl among his belongings. Whenever he missed her, he would hold the shawl and call Lotus Lady. The shawl would transform into the fox woman, smiling and joyful, just not speaking. Alright, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.